I once read that the first priority of any politician, once he's elected, is not to take care of his constituents. His first priority is to make sure he's re-elected. If you're looking for a really good carrier that you can stay with rather than hop from carrier to carrier, check out GP Transco. They're an honest, transparent company that does not micromanage their fleet. Their first year drivers make between eighty dollars and $90,000 a year. They're a W-2 company with benefits. Check them out at gptransco.com. So if you're a politician that has made a series of bad policy decisions that are affecting your country and adversely affecting your numbers and you've made huge mistakes with these policies, your first goal is to try to hide these mistakes from the general public because you want them to vote for you again and you don't want them to see the damage that you've caused. Take in point the Biden administration on the energy crisis and the energy policies it's, it's put into place. Now, the first day in office, Biden canceled the Keystone Pipeline, and he's been on a, a green energy roll ever since. Now, what's happened is that this has hurt the economy because in reality, the country needs oil and it can't transition to any sort of a green energy program overnight or even in one term. So Biden's green energy agenda is hurting the country and it's creating inflation and it's driving the cost of everything up, including the price of diesel fuel. So if you're a politician, how do you hide this problem? One way you can hide the rising inflation is to have your Energy Information Administration hide, misconstrue, and slow down the reporting of the national price of diesel fuel. So bear with me now. Here's the deal. If you underreport and slow down the true national average of diesel fuel, this in return delays the fuel surcharges carriers and trucking companies and truckers can charge because they're working off an inaccurate number. So the price in actuality of diesel fuel has risen, but you don't have that number. You have a lower average number that were, was reported weeks ago. This in turn lowers your fuel surcharge and this in turn looks like inflation isn't accelerating as quickly as it actually is. But what this actually does is it means that trucking companies and truckers are technically undercharging and losing money because of this inaccurate reporting. The diesel fuel price in reality is up here. The administration is saying it's no, it's not that high, it's down here. You base your fuel surcharge on that, it's not as high as it should be. And in return, trucking companies and truck drivers are losing money. Now the argument could be made that, well, yeah, but when the price comes back down again, it'll all work out in the wash. Well, maybe it will, and maybe it won't. Point here is that this alleged misinformation by the government is technically costing us money and hiding the truth from us. So if the government won't accurately portray these numbers, what other numbers are they misconstruing? The bottom line here is, if this misinformation and inaccurate reporting is costing the trucking industry millions of dollars, what else are they doing wrong? And it, the bottom line is, these actual numbers are going to catch up to us and hurt us eventually, and it's gonna be worse than what we forecasted for. So there's nothing to be gained here, it's just a matter of delaying the loss, and that could hurt us even worse. I'd like to thank a viewer for pointing out this little alleged scheme to us. Take care, keep the rubber side down, and we'll see you on the back home.